shoulder examination and tests, the silly working bones. Treatment of shoulder injuries should include an assessment of strength, range of motion, and look for impingement and instability. Sometimes unusual or odd names are attached to some shoulder clinical tests. Four examples of these odd tests are described here. A speed test is done for biceps tendinitis. A speed test sounds like an odd name for a test, but it is the real name for biceps tendinitis test. The patient is asked to actively forward flex the shoulder while the examiner is applying resistance to the movement. Tenderness over the bicepital groove indicates tendinitis of the long head of the biceps. A slab test, the best test, is called the O'Brien's test, and it is done for a real lesion called the slab tear lesion. The patient's arm at 90 degree of flexion, 10 degree of adduction, and full internal rotation with the forearm pronated. The examiner applies pressure to the forearm and instructs the patient to resist the downward force being applied. Pain at the shoulder joint indicates a slab lesion. Decrease in pain in the shoulder on spination of the arm is consistent with a slab lesion. Empty can test. It is a real test for subacromial impingement and cuff pathology. The arm is anteriorly flexed at the level of the shoulder. Fully pronate the arm into the empty can position. The patient should resist the downward force being applied on the forearm by the examiner. Pain or weakness indicate supraspinatus tendon lesion or pathology. Jerk test is a name of a real test to study the instability of the glenohumeral joint and the posterior labrum. The patient arm is abducted to 90 degree and internally rotated. The examiner axially loads the humerus while the arm is moved horizontally across the body. A positive test is indicated by a sharp pain in the shoulder with or without a click. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.